going to present my design and development of IoT based health monitoring system. So in this, I'm going to be present myself and my colleague Mayur Puri. So as you can see, these are the outlines of my project, with problem statement, objectives, literature review. So getting on to the next slide, mainly the problem statement is like IoT enabled devices have made the remote monitoring in healthcare sector possible, unleashing the potential to keep the patient safe and healthy. And uh, it has also benefited the patients, families, physicians, hospitals, and insurance companies. Main objective of this project is to monitor the health parameters using different sensors, such as below mentioned is like pulse sensor, temperature sensor, LM35, heart rate sensor. And uh, main objective was to design the embedded circuit for the above sensors, interfacing with the ESP controller, and to program the project in such a way that it can be sent to the data serially to the controller. I now uh, forward my mic to my colleague Mayur Puri. Mayur. Hello, good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, these are the uh, basic literature review which we have took from uh, various various uh, papers. So these are the particular name of the authors uh, and the uh, following are the name of the papers from where we have took. Uh, this is the basic block diagram. Uh, uh, how the our uh, project is going to work so uh, basically the human body which uh, that can detect all the uh, particularly that pulse temperature ecg uh, ecg and oximeter through a particular power supply then it has to be uh, sent to a wifi controller or bluetooth module through a, a mobile app and uh, uh, that e prescription will be taken out from a doctor so so these are the basically a review of paper one uh, and uh, we have uh, go through some uh, papers so it is one of them uh, this paper title has a detailed research uh, on human health monitoring system on with uh, on the basis of iot its abstract is that advanced sensors can be either worn or embedded into body of the patient so uh, it is uh, it is uh, continuously being monitored uh, their health is being monitored so all the information is uh, managed and analyzed and aggregated and mined uh, to early prediction of diseases. So with the help of that, uh, uh, e-prescriptions has been driven out. Uh, next, this is a, a review of paper two. Uh, same IoT based health monitor. We have just uh, reviewed from these papers. Next, this is also one of them. So this was our final review uh, from where we have to call the, I mean, uh, knowledge based intelligence systems in e-health and medical communication services. So we have uh, more uh, focused on uh, medical sector though. So uh, because we have seen the pandemic has been uh, driven out in a huge amount. So we, we just try to work on that sector. So the, uh, as we can see this paper shows the system has a liquid crystal display LCD on which the, those major temperature pulse rate and oxygen saturation level can be easily synchronized and all the uh, all these things will be easily synchronized on a mobile application for an instant access so uh, this was our basic aim and our motto so uh, I'll hand over to Prasanna Nulgari to explain this okay this is the basics circuit diagram in which we have been using uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and an Arduino uh, with a uh, pulse sensor and a temperature sensor named LM35. So this is the circuit explanation like load, node MC is the heart and brain of the system then uh, 74SC4051 is the analog multiplexer IC which we have used as an uh, analog to digital converter and all the sensors have one VCC pin which is connected to the 3.5 Three volt supply of node MCU and ground pin, which is connected to the ground pin of the controller, and signal pin is connected to the different ports, which is again as converted as analog. Now, coming to the hardware part, we have been using ESP8266 Wi Fi controller, then temperature sensor, and all are having a 9 volt power supply. With that, we are again using a pulse sensor, a ECG sensor, and an oxygen sensor. Now, this is the flowchart of the temperature where, as you can see, we, uh, when the execution starts, it uh, first uh, it if that means we have set a threshold temperature voltage that is temperature between if it is that if it's between the threshold then it will be sent to the again from starting from the execution so that we can again check the temperature 
If no, then it gets on the buzzer on and send a message to the doctor. Uh, same as the flowchart of the pulse. And these are the some circuit diagrams. And uh, we actually were using a blink app in which uh, so that doctor can monitor the patient by sitting at anywhere. And the, these are the results. Front end dashboard design for the mobile app for monitoring the real time data of temperature and pulse. And this was the schedule of our project which we are working. <laughs> and these are the references we have been referred. Hello, which programming language you are going to use, Prasanna, for the Arduino programming? Uh, sir, uh, basically C. Yes, you are using the C language for the Arduino. All these application you are going to make in a C. Yes, sir. Okay, so which libraries you are using from the C for all these operation handling the sensors? That part Mayur is working. You can ask him. Mayur, would you please? Because I don't think the C provides the such facilities of the number of libraries which you are going to make an application, some advanced application working with the sensors. So we can use uh, I, uh, embedded C. Embedded C. You are using the embedded C. So that is my question. Which libraries? Just name just few libraries which are working with the oxygen sent sensor or the ECG sensor. What is their parameters? Have you studied what the actually the ECG shows, uh, Chaitanya? Uh, 